In the annals of history, the Jewish revolt against Heraclius stands as a testament to the enduring pursuit of autonomy. It unfolded in the context of the Byzantine-Sassanian War of 602-628, marking one of the final significant attempts by the Jewish population to secure self-governance in the land of Israel until modern times. Amidst this turbulent backdrop, a unique climatic phenomenon known as the Late Antique Little Ice Age cast a chilling shadow over the classic empires, ushering in a period of demographic decline and economic collapse across the Near East. As empires waned, opportunistic forces like the Muslim Arabs and Turks began to rise. The saga of this revolt begins with the Battle of Antioch in 613, where Sharbaraz, a Sasanian Persian general, led his forces through the provinces of Palestina Secunda and Palestina Prima. In 614, he laid siege to Caesarea Maritima, the administrative capital of Palestina Prima. This Persian campaign was not alone. It was bolstered by Jewish forces under the leadership of Nehemiah ben Hushiel and Benjamin of Tiberias. Jerusalem fell to this alliance without resistance, creating a brief interlude of Jewish control. However, this Jewish ascendancy was short-lived, as a Christian revolt erupted after a few months. In the ensuing turmoil, Nehemiah ben Hushiel and his Council of Sixteen were killed, alongside many other Jews who chose to take their own lives rather than submit to their Christian adversaries. Christians, albeit briefly, regained control of the city before Sharbaraz's forces successfully breached its walls. According to the accounts of the Armenian bishop and historian Sebaos, the siege resulted in a Christian death toll of 17,000. Subsequent Christian sources would go on to exaggerate this figure, suggesting casualties as high as 90,000. Additionally, 35,000 to 37,000 people, including the patriarch Zacharias, were deported to Mesopotamia. Although the city was said to be burnt down, archaeological evidence has not substantiated widespread burning or church destruction. In the aftermath of these tumultuous events, bands of Jews from various regions, Jerusalem, Tiberias, Galilee, Damascus, and even Cyprus, united in a fateful expedition against Tyre. They were enticed by the 4,000 Jewish inhabitants of the city to launch a surprise attack on Christians during Easter night. This Jewish army reportedly numbered 20,000 strong. However, the mission was foiled as the Christians of Tyre got wind of the impending danger, capturing the 4,000 Tyrian Jews as hostages. The invaders retaliated by destroying churches, prompting Christians to exact revenge by killing 2,000 of their Jewish prisoners. In a bid to save the remaining captives, the besiegers withdrew, unable to prevent the horrific spectacle of Jewish captives' heads being thrown over the city walls. The motivation behind these events lay in the hopes of the Jewish population for the Sasanian Persian ruler, Khosrau II, to grant them control over the entire land of Israel in exchange for their support. By 617 CE, however, Persian policy shifted, favoring the Christians over the Jews, possibly due to pressure from Mesopotamian Christians within Persia. The tide turned again in 622 CE, when the Roman Emperor Heraclius assembled an army to retake the territories lost to the Sasanian Empire. Following the deposition of Khosrau II in 628, peace was established, but not for long, as internal Persian strife and complex successions continued. Nevertheless, Heraclius ultimately triumphed and made his way to Jerusalem in 630, purportedly bearing the true cross. What followed was a devastating massacre of the Jewish population. Jews were expelled from Jerusalem and forbidden from settling within a three-mile radius. It is said that only those Jews who could escape to the mountains or Egypt were spared the bloodshed. Heraclius had come as a victor into the land, but the aftermath left an indelible mark on the Jewish communities of the Galilee and Jerusalem. While the historical narrative suggests that this war weakened the Christian population, paving the way for the Arab invasion that followed, archaeological evidence has not entirely corroborated the extent of Christian devastation in Jerusalem. The tale of the Jewish revolt against Heraclius, with its shifting alliances and tragic consequences, serves as a poignant reminder of the intricate dynamics that shaped the fate of the Near East during this pivotal period in history.